All right, I'm Beaver, and I'm here with my buddy Steve Laney from Milwaukee, and we're in uh, southern Wisconsin, Monticello area, and it's the night before the 2013 turkey opener, and we're going to go out. Uh, it's a little drizzly, but we're going to try and spot some turkeys and maybe find something to hunt tomorrow morning and uh, something to kill tomorrow morning. See if we can't uh, bust a beard tomorrow. I'm just afraid this... Uh, rain and cold front again is going to shut everything down. The turkeys are not going to move. They're still so bunched up. None of the hens are even thinking about nesting yet. You know, this rain and cold front, they might be going to bed early tonight. They're going to work that field around and back to the They'll come this roost. way a little bit and then they'll go back into the field they just came out of. And then go, one up on the ridge? They usually go up on top. Yeah, that's a tom right there. Mm -hmm. There's three, four more toms right Over there. The tree. Just cruising the neighborhood. Now I'm gonna check, uh, I'll check Ronnie's, I'll check Burnett's, I'll check Maritz's, I'll check Billing Myers, I'll check Richard's, check them all, all the haunts. Now it's starting to rain again. They're out to the north. Oh, they've been there all day, I can't even get set up for them. Well, they'll go to bed, and after dark, you can get set up. Now they can set up in the morning, too, in the dark. That was gopher. That one's strutting the tom. Two others that aren't strutting are toms. Since there's five toms in there. It's a good spot for them down in that bottom, though. A lot of protection around them. Well, I haven't looked around um, Watson's at all, but turkeys right now are heading to bed already. Did you look at Holloway? Yeah, swing by there, and then everything's pretty well heading to bed already. Let's see. Where's my turkey tag? We have deer tags, goose tags, back tags. Fisher application, otter application. Fall turkey data, 2014 data, 2010 April 10th turkey tag. That'd be tomorrow. Good to go. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we saw plenty of birds. We just need to, we don't need to, I need to make up my mind where we're going to go in the morning, where it's going to be feasible with the camera. With the weather? The try and be out of the wind. The wind's coming in, yep. So I think we'll probably try and hunt the bunch west of the house. That big bunch we've seen over here? We're going from the row where we were scouting from? Sweep those woods around? Uh, no. That, we'll, that's that group that was headed up the hill. With that one lone big tom was out on his yes, by himself? Yes. We'll actually come in from the southeast. There's five toms in there, yeah, so we should be able to pe there. peel something off. Well, hopefully. If you get one, bust, get one to bust loose, with them flocked up like that, it's hard. All we'll them ends. That's why it's called hunting. It's uh, 4 o'clock in the morning wake-up call. I'll be there. All right. Let's let's bells on. Some, let's get some sleep. That's all I'm wearing, those <laughs> bells. <laughs> another two inches of rain this morning so it's gonna be a little soggy out there I'm sure the turkeys are a little soggy now the plan is to uh, go for a ride and see if we can spot some turkeys I got a feeling they're gonna fly down want to dry off they're not gonna move at all first thing this morning so we'll go try and spot something to maybe sneak in on see if we can get close enough to get a Tom to play but it, they're definitely gonna have to dry off after sitting through the rain Looking for turkeys. Why? The season's so open today. And I've got a tag burning a hole in my pocket, and there they all are down on the bottom. Yep. Um, alright. We're gonna make a plan right now. I'm gonna go look on the bottom side, see which way they're moving, and try and get in front of them. 
so that means we're probably going to get wet. If that's that whole flock, there should be five toms in that bunch. Well, we'll go down, we'll have to come back and go in from this side, but I want to look at them from the west side once. Make sure that they're moving in a northerly direction. There is two or three toms in with the bunch, too. They are. They look like drowned rats. and get close enough to them where they can hear our call in this wind. See if we can draw them across that field for that line fence. Rock and roll like a plan. Rock and roll.
I didn't think I had a good shot in here. He just come right into that little triangle opening just enough. That was all 40, 45 yards. Yeah. Yeah. Gobble, gobble. Yep. Just Steve. About 45 yards. Should have had. If we'd have been, if we'd have got caught in a little better spot, it was so thick where we were, and they were out in the open. And I, I took a shot at the second one, and we'd have had a double. But it's just so thick. That's all you could do. I just told him, you worry about getting one. You know, when it gets to an opening, you worry about getting a shot. I took a shot at the second one, about 50 yards, running away through the brush. But they, you know, all they wanted to do this morning was dry off. But once I started calling, I got the hens. Two, there was two toms and two hens. I got the hens to come. Once the hens came, the toms came. The one, the one hen walked right up to us. Where were we? Super secret spot. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why we get up early to do this. It's just not worth it. Yeah, why? Why do we even get up at four in the morning? We well, get up at seven thirty and go kill a turkey and be home by nine. We're wasting all that good sleep. <laughs> oh, we just got lucky. The hens came. Brought the toms. 
Yeah, we almost had a double. But uh, we got, got a little more opening. Caught in a bad spot. But we got one out of the way. That's it. Let's go get another one. Sounds good to me. Your turn. Mm -hmm.